a banker and a farmer is more than a full-time job. Erin works from sunup to sundown and just added poultry to the mix. It's her first year raising chickens and they've put up four batches so far. So yeah, this is the last batch of the year. So they start out, they start out in here. So this is kind of our homemade brooder. Mm -hmm. Got your heat lamp, the food, their water, which I actually have to top their food off mm -hmm. today. Um, and so they'll be in here probably about another week or so until they fully feather out and they can regulate their own body temperature. And then we'll move them actually up in the hill. We've got two chicken tractors. Mm -hmm. So in the chicken tractors I, we utilize are um, kind of an A-frame shape, white tarp, um, and we move them twice a day around on the grass with supplementing the grain. Erin so. wants to be the source for locally raised, pasture-based meats in her town. I have a list of interested parties who have purchased and continue to purchase from me, and I let them know when um, things are available for pre-order. We get pre-orders, we have it processed um, typically to way, the way they're looking for. Um, sometimes they have specific requests, sometimes you know they're just looking for some general standard cuts. And then we go from there and deliver and hopefully have happy customers. Erin has both happy customers and happy animals, including her pigs. When we talked about doing the farm, pigs seemed to make the most sense as the easiest thing to start with. So that was actually what we first had. Um, and has turned out to be my husband's favorite. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so he helps me out with those. And what kind of pigs are they? <laughs> so these guys are Berkshire Tamworth Crosses. Okay. And they came actually from about two miles down the road. 